Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Stretch Sense Smoke Cap Fidelity gloves. But basically, in this video, I'm going to try and calibrate these gloves and connect it directly to a MetaHuman right away. All right, I just want to see how you know easy it is to do that. Now, right now, I just have the Hand Engine 2.2 installed, which is just the software. You just download it, you get a license from them, and you install it in your computer. That's all I did. And just a disclaimer, I had to not turn on my blue screen because this is also blue. So you're not going to be able to see this if I key that out. So just kind of letting you know why that's not keyed out. So here's the software and it's telling me add a performer to the stage to start. Okay. And I'm going to go kind of slow on this because I just got this yesterday and I'm still trying to learn here. So we're going to go with JS films with the name and, and yes, you can type with it and you can use your phone with it, which is pretty cool because it's pretty stretchy. LSA add. Now the left hand, let's see. Yeah, that, that one's already on. It's already blinking. If it blinks, there you go. You saw that. So I'm going to click on the drop down and I have two USB dongles already connected to my PC. Now let's see if it's six. Okay, so it is six because right here, you can see that I'm getting signal, I'm getting data right about here, which is good. That's what we want. So with this software, you can calibrate fast or you can do some advanced calibration. So what I'm going to do is to calibrate express. Now I have to practice this because obviously this is my first day using it, but basically you have to do a paddle pose like so for about five seconds. And then you do a fist and you do the wrist. And then after that, you're going to do a thumb. And then lastly, you're going to spread your fingers. Now with everything in life, more practice, I'm going to get with this, the faster I'm going to get with it. But let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So on the left side, I'm going to say calibrate express. So I'm going to get my paddle post ready. Three, two, one. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my model hands. And then I'm going to go with a fist. Okay, and this one is the actual thumb. Just rotate it. And then lastly, we're going to do the finger stretches. Okay. All right. So that is the calibrate express. And this is the data that you're getting right off the bat with just the calibrate express. So we can do one, two, three, four. You can do, you know, like a pistol or something like that, just like that. So that's kind of cool really quickly, 20 seconds. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to advanced calibration and in here, we're going to do three extra poses. And this is what I say you can do calibrate express plus three. This is it, one, two, three. But what's crazy about this software is that if I click on this drop down, you can have a lot more poses. You can do the automatic one for 20 seconds plus some. So if I go to their gamer one, which looks really interesting, in here, you're going to see some poses that you can train. And if I click this, I can actually rotate. But with this, I can actually capture the pose and train the model to be used in Unreal. So again, we're going to go start with the basic. So I did the fast calibration and I'm going to do plus three. So I'm going to do the paddle right now, which the paddle is just like this. And then say capture pose. Again, I'm going to rotate it. And since I have auto advanced pose turned on, I'm going to go to the next one. This is just a thumbs. And again, I'm going to rotate my wrist. And then this one is a straight up fist. Again, I'm going to do that. So now we captured three extra poses. And now if I go to hand training, you're going to see that we have the paddle, thumbs up, and fist that we just did. And I can now just say train this. So now we have this now. And if I close this, that's going to apply that. So now I have this. You see, that's pretty perfect pose. And that's what's called the calibrate plus three. But that being said, if you want to add more poses to this, there is a long list of poses that you can train this model. Okay. But I was told by stretch sense that the calibration express plus three is usually pretty good for general use. So that's what we're going to be going with right now, because really I just want to connect this, show you how to connect this to a meta human. So I'm going to do that right there. And now I'm going to my right hand side, which is going to be five because this is six. 
So let's test this out. I'm going to turn it on. Hold that button until it turns blue. There you go. We should be getting signal, which I am. So that's good. And I just want to make sure I don't have any hand training on this one, which I don't because this is a fresh install. And again, we're going to go to hand training, make sure everything is good. I'm going to train that. So now we have express calibration plus three. So now we're set up, which is good. Now I'm going to go to the website because in the website, they actually include an FBX for a meta human model. So what we're going to do now is transfer this data onto a meta human. So I'm going to go to the website and in here, once you're logged in, you're going to see the actual meta human FBX remapping, which I'm going to download. And we're also going to need the unreal engine plugin. So we have the meta human body mesh right here, make this bigger. And I will unzip and extract this out. All right. And then for the plugins, we have a couple of versions. I'm going to be doing the 5.2 and I'm going to copy this. Now you can copy this into your engine or just a certain project. I'm just going to copy it on a project, CyberML2. I'm going to create a plugins folder here, PLUGINS, Control V. And now I'm going to open that project, right? So I'm just going to open it up, let that load, and then we'll go back to hand engine right now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be creating a retarget. Basically, we're going to be converting the meta human hand bones to the stretch sense ones because the naming conventions are going to be different. If you've retarget before in Unreal Engine, it's the same exact process. So I'll just create a new level here and then minimize this. So to do that, we're going to go to windows and remapping. And we're going to select the FBX, make this bigger. We're going to select the FBX that we just downloaded and say that. And then for the left hand route, we are going to be looking for the hand left. Okay. So that's right. And there it is. And once you set that, it's going to set the left hand and a right hand, which is good. And now you only have to do this once. You have to go ahead and match all the bones. So we're going to start here with the actual index first, because that's what I see first. Zero. One, two, and three. So we have index zero, one, two, three. And we just have to do it for the entire thing. So we have middle. So I'm going to leave these two empty because we don't have any in the drop down. And then once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and say submit. Okay. We'll close this out. And now if we go to the remapping target, we now have this right here. And I will do the same right here. Perfect. So let's go to Unreal Engine now because I want to make sure that we have the actual plugin enabled. It's there. Good. And we want to make sure that Live Link is also enabled, which is there. So that's good. All right. So let's set this up. I am now going to have this TCP port 9000 and I'm going to try to turn that on, see if it's being used. It's not. So that's good. That's going to be my left hand. I'll minimize this. And then if I go to Windows, Virtual Production Live Link, which is already down here, I can click on this, port 9000, and I am getting data from that, which is good. So content Browser, Meta Humans. And then what I'll do is I'll drag and drop my Meta Human into the scene. All right, so with that being said, what I'm going to do is go to the Meta Humans folder, and I'm going to look for Medium, Normal Weight, and in BP. Now this is the female one. I'm looking for the male one. So I'm just going to go with normal weight and BP, which is going to be this one right here. I'm going to double click that because this is what we actually need to edit. So double click the anim graph. And what's cool about this is to add the actual stretch sense data in, I'll just press control and disconnect these. And from the leg left, I'm going to add a live link post. Connect this here. And if I click on the drop down, this left right here is already there because we connected it via live link. If I press compile, now you're going to see our left hand is now moving. 
I'm going to do the same exact thing for the right one. So I'm going to drag it here so we can kind of keep it tidy. I will just control C this and copy this. And I'm going to move this here and move this here and then go back to the stretch sense software. And now we're going to track the TCP port, which is 9001. I'm going to turn that on, go back to Unreal, go back to Live Link, go to Source, Molecat Pro. And now we're going to change this to 9001. And then we will see the right hand. Go back to the blueprint, click the drop down, and here's the right hand. Compile, save, and then minimize. If I click on the preview now, and now, just like that, we have finger tracking on our MetaHuman. We don't have dead hands anymore. I wanted to make this video so I can kind of showcase you how easy it is to get this thing going. And what's interesting about this is, I did just post about this earlier on the community page. This is the most expensive one, obviously, for the $7,000 one. But they're also coming out with a $2,700 one and a $795 one. Now, it's pretty interesting because the $795 one lets you stream hand animations, hand gestures straight to Unreal Engine. Pretty much, pretty sure, similarly to what I just showed you. Now, obviously, I don't have the gloves, so I don't know the quality of it. But for $795 for a pair of gloves with no software, with no monthly fees, I am super interested in that offering, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna be testing this out a lot more, obviously. I'm gonna try to do a live stream on this, combine it with my XSense a Windows Story Kit. I'm gonna be doing, you know, just our talk with my MetaHuman, with my uh, helmet and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that. But that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you can use your Stretch Sense gloves onto a MetaHuman in just a couple of minutes. Look at that. It's so freaky because I have crooked fingers. <laughs> and the MetaHuman's fingers are actually crooked. Like, bro, what? I can't even have straight fingers in, in, as a MetaHuman. They could get a capture it that good. But anyways, that's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one.